Le Elias, um, thank you for joining us for another Coach Talks. Um, just looking back at last weekend, we want to cover first of all, Sunday losing in overtime to Manchester Phoenix is probably the right outcome in the end. Um, but that was our fifth overtime loss from six, you know, six chances. Has it been difficult for the team to adjust to three on three play? I don't think it's so much the three on three. I mean, the, the way the overtime is set up, um, I could say it's not in our favor uh, that we have to keep our imports on the bench minus Yanis. But at the end of the day, the accountability is really on us to perform. Um, so it's not exactly the way we want it to go. I mean, we did get points in all five of those games, and we do have one uh, win uh, in the overtimes that we've played. But, uh, you know, throughout the season, it's a learning experience for our guys. And uh, hopefully if we keep getting overtime, we'll keep getting better and we'll earn the points we need. But uh, we can't let a, a rule change be an excuse for why we win or why we don't win. But uh, like I said, it's something we're working on and uh, we're still pulling points out of, I think, every weekend so far. So uh, come what may. <laughs> well, come what April in the case, anyway. Um, I mean, you mentioned obviously about keeping imports off the ice. I mean, is, how significant a factor is it having a, um, an import goalie, you know, with the restrictions on imports down to one in overtime? Yeah, well, you know, if you're asking me personally, um, I don't like any rule that keeps players off the ice, uh, unless it's a penalty, obviously. But that's the way the rules are. So if other teams have import goalies, they're in the same boat. We're not the only team in that situation. But uh, I trust the players that we do put on the ice. We have, we have some really great talent that we put out there uh, on five on five, excuse me, three on three overtime. But it is frustrating when you have players that are just sitting on the bench that you can't utilize. But again, that takes nothing away from the guys that we do put on the ice. Uh, but it's, it's, a tough, it's a tough rule to swallow, but it's the rule. And, and we have to find ways to win. You know, we have to find the ways to win those games. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Um, looking at the league, though, Phantoms currently back in third position officially in the league um, after last weekend, and still plenty of games in hand as well on those other other teams. Um, Bracknell game this midweek. Um, do you? Think Phantoms could reclaim the top spot again, though. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest. With you, I'm really just focusing on the the next two points at hand, uh, or next four, if you want to go into the weekend. But Bracknell's been surging as of late. Um, they, they've been taking on the top teams in the league, and they've been they've been winning uh, and getting points. So we can't take them lightly at all. Uh, when it comes to the league table, you know, we're just we're not focused on it. it it's the next two games, the points that are there, and uh, the league table will take care of itself. You know, why why add the pressure? Uh, at this point in the season of, of being at the top. Uh, they don't give you trophies for being at the top a third through the season, so uh, they give you that for being up at the top at the end of the season. So game at a time. Again, we'll be focused on practices and uh, just continually improving as a hockey team as the season moves forward. I think it's a good philosophy to have. Um, <laughs> Obviously, you did mention as well having Bracknell again at home on the weekend, uh, here at the weekend. Um, we have faced them already once this season um, and shot them out 3-0 at that point. Um, is, is the team sort of got that fixture in their mind when, when sort of going into to these next two games? Yeah, yeah, that would be dangerous if we did. Uh, like I said, they're, they're surging right now. So we're expecting a top caliber team that's going to come in here and try and prove that they're a top caliber team. And, they're, you know, they're, they're fighting to, to move up from the bottom. Uh, and they're certainly doing that. So, no, there's no easy games in this league. And I mean that from the top team down to the bottom. If you overlook anyone, uh, they're going to have the advantage. The, the parity in this league is, is perfect this year. Uh, it's a great hockey game, honestly, every time you step on the ice. I mean, uh, it makes it exciting to come to work every day. So, no, we're, we're not at all thinking about past performances. Uh, we're just focused on this performance coming up and making sure that we do all the right things to, to get a victory for us. And uh, we know Bracken will bring the same type of uh, competitive atmosphere to the game. No, sure. Well, you did say that you're not very thinking about past performances, but uh, as a team, you must be looking to bounce back after last weekend's game, though. Well, you know, you, you get a point on the road. I mean, uh, like we always want two points, but you get a point on the road. Uh, you can't be completely disappointed with that. Um, so, I mean, it's funny, we were talking about bouncing back from a one-point game, whereas, you know, we've been in positions in past seasons where it's loss after loss after loss. So, you know, we always talk about this being not too high and not too low. And, uh, you know, I think every performance, we want to build on our previous performance. And it's all about the strive to play the best hockey at the right times. And, you know, that's, that's the mission, is to continue to move forward as a group as a family and make sure that we find the ways to become the best hockey team we can be. And, and one of the things I love about our hockey team, and I really mean the word love, is that no matter where we sit, no one in the room is satisfied. You know, they're, they're always wanting to be better. They're always challenging themselves to find a, another gear. No one's content with our league position. Again, not that we're thinking about it, but I mean, guys know where we are, but no one's content with that. It's, it's about moving forward. And uh, I think that's one of the big reasons we, we find success and we're being successful so far this season. 
Yeah, it's, it's great to see. Um, obviously, you personally, as an American, m midweek game, falling on Thanksgiving, what are your plans? Well, I'm, I'm not so sure they took into account that it's American Thanksgiving this Thursday, but uh, uh, that's going to be a tough one to uh, slip by the wife, so I think I'm going to have to have to stay home and have some turkey on uh, Thursday, but hopefully I'll be watching the game uh, if it's on webcast, uh, which I think it's going to be, and uh, uh, cheering the boys on from home. But, yeah, that's, that's one I, I, you know, I sneak out of a lot of things. That's not that's not one I think I can get away from. No, well, you do have a wife, so. I do have a wife, <laughs> that's absolutely, and a son. So I try to do them right by being home, uh, at least on the big holiday. Excellent. Lee, thanks so much for sparing the time again to the time. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Right, take care.